Virgo cards. So this can be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's have a look first and foremost at love. Okay, there's a powerful connection that's building up. Very nice, Virgo. I always consider it a very good omen to have you come up as, as your own sign here with the Hermit card. So I definitely feel like big changes or big things happening in love. Let's also not ignore the fact you've got the moon and the sun, which represent uh, the balance of divine masculine and divine feminine yin and yang counterparts. So this is a very powerful connection that's around you. Now, it can come very suddenly. It can be with someone that you've been with for quite some time. You might be receiving some sort of validation through the universe or through your own emotions um, that the, the, the connection that you have, the relationship, whether you're currently connected to this person or not, it's someone that has either been in your past with cancer element here um, or will come back, will reach out. And it's almost like solidification that this is in fact your twin flame. I definitely feel like there's um, a, a connection from the past with because the moon card can be the sign of cancer. Cancer can represent the past. So if it's not a cancer that's coming back around or a Virgo, um, I do feel like it's someone that's still emotionally attached to you. Uh, Virgo, they still think about you. Maybe they're still hopeful that the two of you will reunite and that reunion could definitely happen. It could happen very unexpectedly and leave you in a bit of a whirlwind here. Um, or it might happen with the ending of one relationship or one chapter and bring in another person here as well. So the same person or a different person. But I feel like with the moon card, um, because it's divine feminine energy and the queen of cups represents divine feminine energy, there's a lot of care and tenderness and emotional sensitivity that you'll come to see um, in this connection, which is really, really powerful. It can definitely symbolize codependency as well. Um, Cancers are known to be quite codependent signs and uh, the beauty about this is, regardless if you're dealing with a cancer or not, is that you are very attentive and this is what cancer energy needs. So I feel like you are very attentive, you shine the light on cancer, you let, you let that energy flourish. So you allow love to grow. Um, I definitely feel a lot of you will be either falling in love or becoming more attached to someone or understanding the value of a connection here with the Queen of Cups. Um, you know, with the Hermit here, this could be independence and, and, and solitude as well. Some of you might have a lot more freedom or independence or want to take time away from a relationship. Um, or maybe if you've been lonely for some time, that's about to change. You know, you've been on your own. Um, you've been doing your own thing, maybe you've been concentrating on other facets of your life, but there's a very beautiful connection that's bubbling either under the surface and is operating behind the scenes right now or is already present in your life. Okay, A lot of changes and transformation, uh, which the Ten of Swords can indicate, but the Ten of Swords can also indicate pain and conflict and or betrayal. If we take you out of the equation in the Hermit card, the Hermit is an overthinker, um, you know, it, I mean, it can be self-sabotaging behavior, okay, or it can be behavior that's destructive, um, either behavior or thought patterns uh, that might prove destructive to you um, or the relationship that you're in. So just be mindful of what's happening here. Um, someone's words could really pain you this month. And maybe that's where you're a little bit hesitant, hesitant, you know, to let someone back in, to be open to the idea. Um, swords communication, communicate uh, swords in the back here. I don't know if it's because of someone will say something or the, the, the fact that they, it, it's because they don't say something or uh, they do say something that that's what's going to sort of plague you. Uh, this 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 month I feel like that could be an issue here um, it could be an ending or coming out of the dark there could be ending of relationships absolutely um, you know sometimes the lovers kind of have uh, you know they've stripped down they're vulnerable they're bare this is they have nothing left to give you can see them with open arms it can be read in that context as well they've got nothing left to give and like their open arms could be uh translated into shrugs like well, what do we do now where do we go from this point so there's a lot of these things that you might be trying to understand or communicate to each other again being able to express yourself um, is going to be because you're ruled by mercury gemini is as well and 
it's come up for you in terms of the hermit which represents virgo and the lovers which represents gemini so double communication or uh you know to be able to express yourself freely but it's not just you virgo it's the other person that'll need to do this as well um, it's the other person that needs to be of equal communication with what you're offering and how much you're feeding them and giving them. They need to in turn give that back to you, um, Virgo. I think that's very, very important here. And and there could be moments you're a bit emotionally scattered. You know, the Seven of Cups is here. <clears throat> and this is being overwhelmed with emotions or thoughts or options and you might find those sorts of things come up. You might find things that are a little bit back and forth. The Lovers card is Gemini. Gemini's back and forth energy. Okay, it's 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 a very dual energy. Um, it's ruled by the twins' counterparts. Very different. They come from very different um, sources, opinions, thoughts, etc. So, um, I feel like that might influence or have a lot to do with your relationships this month. Let's move on and have a look at your career, um, business, finance. Let's sort of see what comes up um, in addition to the general messages here for you, Virgo. Let's have a look. Okay, it's almost like the Queen of Swords. I don't see her as um, she puts pressure on people, but it's almost what came up was that she's barking orders or she's very demanding. I don't know. Or she's communicating someone else to do a lot for her or for him. I mean, I, I don't know if that sort of behavior might be exhibited. Um, the Ten of Wands can be hardship and, and burdensome energy. We put a lot of thought and focus and energy into something and we're doing it all on our own. So there's a heavy weight you might be carrying in career. Um, there could also be a lot of pressure that's going to be placed on you. And I guess be mindful of what people are communicating to you because they could be beating around the bush. They might be avoidant. They might not be able to freely express themselves or they might be not telling you something. So the withholding of information could be happening. Okay. Could even be a little bit of gossip or slander or, um, defamatory talk the seven of swords being deception it can be theft it can be um you know a behavior that's a little bit taboo that's frowned upon that's not constructive or not not um in the best interest of everyone so there might be someone ruffling a few feathers look it could be you virgo um it could be someone you're working with uh, but you might sort of see that, that that sort of behavior here and it's going to put a bit of pressure on you but like i said the queen of swords she's instructing or she could even be as i said barking orders um but i feel for the most part she's if we take the fact that she's looking at these cards she can represent very analytical or very deep um assessment or talk and because you have the lovers card come up the gemini energy communication is your strong point so I feel if you have any important job interviews, meetings, um, if you have to impress someone professionally, creatively, I feel like you'll make you'll you'll leave your mark on them absolutely, as I mentioned. Um, and I feel like that'll go very positively. So there's an impression that you're making, or you're going to stand out uh, from the crowd here, Virgo. So uh, this is very very positive. I feel like for those that are trying to. Um, get ahead and make a name for themselves or gain recognition uh, or, or getting talks you know start stimulating ideas start throwing those around that these these ideas um, and that initiative which you'll take will be looked upon very 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 favorably um, I feel and there's a lot of correspondence coming in a lot of direction which is good um, the eight of ones can be Sagittarian energy. Uh, eight of Wands can also be correspondence, signs, symbols, synchronicities, um, leadership, growth, and even promotion. Okay, it's it's one step. It's um, steps that contribute that, that will contribute to your aim. Okay, of succession, of wealth, of acknowledgement, of accolades, of making an impact. Um, you know, maybe more money. Uh, but this is quite uh, quite an auspicious sign, I feel. So for the most part, that's that's a really good sign here. But a lot of correspondence coming in. 
and possibly even travel opportunities. Um, hospitality, imports, exports, online, um, immigration matters. You might even find jobs or professional opportunities based outside of where you are. So the commute might be longer, could be interstate. It could even be an international job opportunity um, as well or working for industries that connect the globe somehow through, um, you know, through mediums of internet or film or uh, shipping or uh, whatever it is. But um a lot of expansion happening with the world in your hands and it could also be coming from a fire sign which you did have leo and aries come up in the cards here uh virgo so i i think for a lot of you um it's a very positive sign that can that can show expansion or even correspondence with someone who's further away maybe they're they come from a different nationality maybe there's a foreign influence but international offers could definitely be on the cards here um but there is a bit of fire energy around you in work, which I think is quite positive because it shows there's a lot of motivation um, and it's a fast paced energy. So whatever's occurring could uh, could be occurring quite quite quickly. So just be careful you don't get caught up in the wrong things here. You've got the two sevens and the two eights. I don't know if these numbers are going to be significant. They might be uh, for some of you. But again, just, just be mindful of that sort of behavior um, or things that are being withheld from you. But things that are being hidden. Um, look, I will leave your reading at that, Virgo. I, I do feel like I think that's sufficient for the month. Um, if you were after a private reading to gain some further clarity, you're more than welcome to reach out to me directly.